Hey there, I'm Steve and you're watching Car Simplified. Today we've got a whole bunch of fuel system cleaners in front of us because we're going to test them out. I've got a whole bunch of different products in front of me and to be honest, some of these might be discontinued. You might not be able to get some of these anymore. I know I've gotten a few of these on clearance and some of those purchases were years ago. And I bet the ones that you can get today have different labels on them now, so let's just get into it already. I've got fuel system cleaners up front and in the back I've got specialty ones like emission system reducer, Marvel Mystery Oil, the Ethanol Treatment, and Octane Booster with MMT. I'm going to be putting everything in these glass jars. And since we're testing to see if these are safe on fuel lines, I've got this big, easy-to-see fuel line that is SAE 30R7, which is not suitable for fuel injection systems. I got this on clearance too because everything out there is fuel injected now. I'm going to do this test with this outdated hose because I suspect that with quality hose, all of these are going to pass. And with the previous test that I did years ago, I used undiluted fuel system cleaner, and even at that strength, after a month, it barely damaged the hose. In this test, I will be diluting them with 93 octane E10, and since it's gonna be in such a small container, the ratio is going to be about right, but not perfect. Even with it being imperfect, it will still be more accurate than what a lot of gas tanks end up with. For example, this one treats 21 gallons, and if you have a 17 gallon tank, you're gonna leave about this much in the bottle. I imagine most people just pour the whole thing in. In order to get these numbers right, I had to do the math on what is the ratio between the fuel system cleaner and the fuel, and then I had to shrink that down to this size. And as you can probably tell by the number of bottles that are sitting on this table, that took a while. So I'm gonna skip over the math and just pour this stuff into the containers and show you that. It is currently January 15th and I'll put on the screen when the test finished because I don't know right now. And when I do know, I know I'll forget to say it. These test bottles are gonna sit in this shed. So over time with the temperature changes, it's gonna simulate storing a car for a while after putting this stuff in it, running it a little bit, and it stays in the fuel lines. Some of these products are fuel stabilizers, so they're actually designed for this scenario. It's extra important for them to pass this test. I'm gonna cut off roughly one inch sections of this hose to drop into the container. Hang on, I almost forgot to make safety my number one priority. Oh, hey, I put the stuff in this hose, into the container. There's gonna be humans everywhere. Boom! I'm kidding, I know how to film videos. All these containers are gonna start off with the same amount of gas in them, but they will get different heights because after we add the fuel system cleaner in there, they're gonna be a slightly different amount, so they're gonna be slightly different heights. For example, one ounce treats five gallons with this stuff and it's a 16 ounce bottle, so barely anything out of this bottle. And as you can probably tell by my echoey audio, this is not a very well ventilated area. So I'm gonna go outside, fill these containers, put the caps on them, and then one at a time take the cap off, put the fluid in, Cap it again. Just like that, and then I'll find the height that it needs to be at, pour it out, top it off, whichever it needs, make them all level, then I'll go in and add the fuel system cleaner. All right, that was a pain, and I had to write toxic on top of them because they all look like apple juice. And after I filled all these, apparently I was too close to the shed when I did it, and all the fumes just migrated in here, so I had to wait for the wind to blow the fumes back out of the shed. Now I have to take one of these and one of these, drop the right amount of fluid into here, label it, and then put it aside, put it somewhere. I'm going to put it in the corner, I think. And I can't assembly line process this either. I'm going to have to take the bottle first, one, pick one of these, take the right amount of it out, put it in here, label it, put it aside, and make sure I don't put two of these in. Another tedious process, I'll show it once and we'll move right ahead. Make sure when you're working with gasoline, wear your most flammable shirt. Not to worry though, as soon as there's two left, I'll find a more efficient way of doing this. I've got all the fluids put away except for this one. This one's, I want to point out something interesting about it. You can see right away, this is discolored, but check out when I open this thing up. Whew, that is crusty. Something is definitely different about this one, because like this one sits around just as long as this one has, and whatever chemical does that is absent in this one. Should be interesting to see what happens with this one. All right, I've diluted all the fuel system cleaners that I have here today. I also made a control jar, which is just gas, 
and if there's anything wrong with that hose, then we've got a real problem and all these are void. Nothing unusual in these yet, you can still read the writing on them. It's October 25th and I'm back. I wasn't expecting to leave this for so long, but the longer it sits, the more likely we are to see anything at all. And if you're going to leave any of this stuff in your car for storing it for the winter or anything like that, then it's good to know if anything is going to happen to your fuel lines in that case. So we're going to be testing that out. Really? I've got my safety equipment ready. I'm going to bring the camera in closer so we can get a better look at those results. That's all good. All good. All good. All good. All good. Alright, now this one, it's still submerged, but the fluid level is way lower than all the others. I did seal it. It just seems like it's turned into fumes or something. This one's got a texture to it. And the texture's rubbing off. But that might be an added texture because the, the uh, ink for not for fuel injection, it's staying on there. So I think whatever that texture is has been added rather than eaten away. I'm gonna let the place air out and I'm gonna get back to checking these. That's good. This one also had a slight texture on it, but not as much as the last motor treatment that I looked at. This one's got a lot of texture on it too. That's good. This one's got a lot of texture on it, but the ink on it is safe. Yeah, that turned out good. Still all good. Still all good. That was the shiniest one so far. This one has a little bit of texture on it, but again, the ink is safe. Ethanol treatment. There's a slight texture, but out of all the ones that had texture, that had the least texture. And it's still good. That's got a lot of texture on it. But the ink still remains. I was really expecting that one, based on someone's comment, to actually be degrading to it, but Still looks good. And last, sea foam. There's some texture on it. Comes right off. The ink is good. All right, everything turned out good. So I didn't get any extra crazy results there. Sometimes in scientific pursuits, you end up with results that are just kind of boring to look at. The uh, one interesting thing was the material that would build up on the hose, which long-term, what could that lead to? Would it keep building up or does it reach a certain point and then it just doesn't build up anymore, like oxidation on aluminum? Kind of hoping this video doesn't blow up because the more people watch it, the more people are gonna be disappointed by the lack of entertainment value there. And I just wanted to get this video out there to show, hey, I made the effort, I followed up on that video where I made a mistake, and I made a new one, and these are the results. One of the videos in the end cards of this one will be the long, unedited, raw version of me taking the stuff out of the fuel system cleaner and taking a look at it, scraping it a little bit. Everything you saw in the second half of this video, except it's not all chopped down. Thanks for making it this far, and I hope to see you in the next Car Simplified video.